referee and we have uh, Manfred from uh, Germany in the water and Raphael the brother of uh, Manuel from Sweden in the water too so this is the first um, game of uh, flipper I see here in this uh, Champions Cup 13th uh, edition Piranias uh, quite curious jugó antes, ¿no? Piranias had played before uh, against Malmö Triton Piranias jugó antes, hoy más temprano 12 y media contra Malmö Continue, well, thank you No, I'm gonna eat my uh, sandwich and you can okay. talk, Lorena Okay, so Alright, 10 minutes This is game number 18 It is 5.30 and we still have some more games to go The last game today starts at 9.30 and uh, after this is Malmo Triton against the Fatties, uh, the male teams. Okay, let's see the referees are getting ready. And uh, this ball has these small little circles, right? I mean, this is the new balls, yeah? Uh, they look funny. <laughs> Okay, we have the referees in place. Let's see. I'll try to see a drift. I'm trying to follow up the. Oh, that was a false start. Oh, that was fast. I know, there is still. There was a false start. What happened? A column. Who put down the microphone of the. There. This is the pool again. Who put it down? So let's see if, if that works out again with the um, camera in the uh, pool area and we can hear a little bit of the um, horn, hopefully, let's see if it works. Okay, start now we started. Start this is the start of the game, Flipper against uh, Piranhas, so uh, Denmark against um, Spain. And Flipper is playing in uh, blue and... Uh, dark, dark. <laughs> and Piranha dark. Slide, wow. uh, which I threw. So number 14, Mikkel Rasmussen trying to force the ball into the basket and there's a bit of a... Uh, oh, this is tough. The Italian uh, defender got the ball, but he couldn't Italian. break free. Uh, Spain. Spain. The Spanish, sorry. I'm, I'm in the last game, stuck Mikkel in the Rasmussen last game. Mikkel Rasmussen got it back, pass it further, and the next... Uh, player trying to pass it to the one at the wow, bottom very under forceful the goalie. attacks by the flipper or Danish flipper players here yeah I mean Piranhas has been uh, playing better better than, than, than the last years we had uh, I don't remember when they when were here the last time I, th I had to check the history of the Champions Cup I don't remember it was Barcelona last the last couple of years Tenemos algunos españoles mirando el partido. Flipper la familia. Flipper is waiting on the surface uh, uh, to get some air, and now the first player goes into position. Vamos a ver. Tenemos uh, al equipo de Piranhas que tiene cuatro First attack chicas. from the close side and to pass uh, off to the other side. Second player already is down, and that's. Wow, no, not Piranhas goal. Recover, eh, recuperó la pelota y está pasando. Eh, lo que pasa es que los daneses son verdaderamente ahí muy tenaces, son muy eh, con mucha experiencia. Recuerden que salieron segundo, así que también son uno de los favoritos. Very well intercepted. Eh, es, está muy bien que han pasado varios minutos del primer tiempo y todavía eh, no han hecho un gol, los chicos de. Ahora tenemos creo que a Kata y bueno, sí. Yeah, that was uh, one of the big guys of Danish against Akin Yeah, but never, nevertheless, you could job. see it, it took them a little bit of time yeah. because oh. in the first attacks they they already put so much uh, push into the attacks, but they didn't uh, they didn't score. Two minutes, yep. Yeah. Well done by Dos the Spanish team. De defendiendo duro, o sea, los chicos de Pirania muy bien porque claro, con la experiencia que tienen los chicos de Flipper, la verdad que muy muy bien. Y ahora vienen al ataque, o sea, están tratando de llegar y de posicionarse debajo de la canasta. Vamos a ver eh, si pueden... Ah, se han puesto los, los números en la espalda, muy bien, el número 3. <risa> eh, a ver, ¿cómo vamos? Uh, let's see, we have the Danish team that recover and it's a counter attack, very experienced uh, team. They play in the Euroleague, they became second last year in the final against Rixu. Here in the Champions Cup, so 
yeah, they are definitely the favorite, favorite, but uh, it's great that uh, Spain, Piranhas are, are defending. I can see that now we have one of the uh, Danish uh, players on the basket trying to create some unrest. And we have two, number 20. Oh, it was intercept, number 71 recovered the ball and is passing it further to the number. Uh, I couldn't see now the seven has it. Mikel Rasmussen, number 14, is right under the goalie and is almost wrapped around the goalie. Just got the ball. We have all the piranhas, but the number 10 uh, recovered mm, yes. and tried to get it in, but it was not possible. I mean, there was a couple of piranhas doing their job around the attacker. Let's see. The piranhas defend seven. very well here. Um, yep. And, and the, the, the secret is to interfere with the attack and not only try to get control of the players, but to interfere in the right moment with the timing. Um, what the score no, was no, pushing was without ball pushing without and ball. a free throw for Piranhas. Wow, yeah, good against job. Flipper. I mean we have a 1-0 after uh, about half of the first yeah, uh, half. That's really good. That's really amazing. I mean, muy bien para España, que la verdad que ya casi pasó la mitad del primer tiempo y solo ha cobrado un gol. Quiero repetir, o sea, este es el uno de los favoritos. Flipper es, eh, ha salido segundo eh, el año pasado en la final de la Champions Cup. Así que, eh, hola, Levent. Hi, Levent. Hey, Levent, how are you? Uh, y muy bien. Eh, la verdad que eh, estoy sorprendida positivamente por el, por el trabajo que está haciendo el equipo español. I'm really very positive surprise of the of the teamwork yes. of the Spanish. Yes, 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 yes. Because you can see the, the flipper team is not holding back. Uh, they are not like uh, uh, saying, whoa, whoa, whoa we, we wait for anything. They want to score. A call from the referee, from uh, the chief referee okay. above water. Uh, we don't have a sound, we don't have a cover here, but it's a free, it looks again uh, like a repetition free throw against flipper. So let's see. Uh, Piranhas attacking uh, for oh, a change, oh. yep. and they already uh, um, tried to get uh, control of the area around uh, the Danish basket. But now we are on the surface in the corner. There's a cluster in the corner. Ball is moving uh, in the middle of the pool. And How many female players do they four. have? Four. Piranhas has four female players, and one just lost the ball. I can I don't recognize. I think I recognize Kata because she's the goalkeeper, but the rest I'm. And now we have a fast counterattack. Uh, two oh, Danish two against players against one, one and, and they I scored. Think it was the 21 that score. Let me see. I can see. I believe this guy here, but I can see the number eight. eight. The number eight of Denmark just scored, and that was following this uh, list. Um, Oh, we don't have an eight, so probably it's the nine. Sören Nielsen. Well, some numbers uh, don't match uh, what yeah, we have we in our list. Yeah, we need to make sure that we get the uh, actual ace. And Mikael Rasmussen is coming up against the defender against you. We have a number 20 team. Jensen is trying to score, but Piranhas is uh, holding back. Good, or it was a score, was it? Was a goal. Yeah. It looks like a score. Yep. It was no. I didn't see a sign yep. from the referees. But we have a 3-0 yeah. yep. uh, flipper in blue against Piranhas in white. Game 18 here of the 30th um, Champions Cup in Berlin. I would say for me a success uh, for the Piranhas would be that they totally give agree. it one, uh, one digit. Uh, para mí es un éxito para las Piranhas si pueden mantener el, los goles en un dígito. Porque de verdad estos chicos juegan en la Euroliga y eh, tiene mucha experiencia ahora vienen contraatacando tres se acaba de meter el número 25 Sigurd Greve eh, está bloqueando la canasta Sigurd <laughs> is blocking the, the, the basket but uh, the Piranhas just recovered on time I see the ball on one side wow. in the hand of one of the players but uh, the Piranhas okay. recovered and trying to swim on the wall side and they're being stopped by some of the four checkers uh, of the Danish team. However, you know, in the past when they started playing the Champions Cup, I remember Ricardo from Australia now was uh, the trainer. And because they were inexperienced, they uh, start playing a little bit like they did in a normal rugby, meaning they would pass to the to the back instead 
forward. It was the only way they could pretty much conserve the ball for a little bit. And now they 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 got better. Okay, now we have <laughs> one on one, and that was very uh, difficult. Number twelve, uh, the goalkeeper couldn't hold against the number, and I cannot see. Uh, sometimes a little bit complicated. We had that just was a twelve. I think that's Daniel that um, well was had a fierce uh, fight uh, with the attacker of the Danish team and uh, lost. Yeah. One and a half minutes left here in the first half. Uh, game 18, Champions oh, yeah. Cup uh, 2018. And well done so far by the Spanish team. Very well defending and also breaking free. This was, whoa, this ball was handed right in front of the uh, Spanish defense into the hands of a Danish player. And they switch immediately into the uh, close vicinity attack under the basket. Now there are two Danish players waiting as, as uh, Spanish defenders under the basket. You see there is a lot of experience in the flipper player and they cut here from the open side. There was a gap and uh, the player just pushed the ball inside. Did you see the number? No, oh. no not sure. Okay. It was 14, I guess, it was uh, uh, Miguel. 4 a 0 eh, para Flipper, pero estamos ya terminando el primer tiempo. Ahora 5, vale, perfecto, me parecía. 5 a 0, pero están muy, muy bien. Eh, imagínense que, bueno, las chicas son la mitad de los daneses, más o menos, y sin embargo le están aguantando muy bien. Bueno, ahora que han recuperado el balón y están haciendo un contraataque, vienen casi a 3. Eh, el capitán, el número 14, el 10, eh, están ahí preparados, están debajo y, eh, bueno, uno de los chicos de Piranha pudo agarrarlo y llevarlo para arriba. Ahora están tratando de, oh, bueno, no, y fue gol, déjenme ver, creo que fue el número 21. I believe the number 21, that would be Jonas, uh, did the score. That was also quite a, a fierce uh, attack. But, you know, even the, the women, they are like half size of these uh, Danish guys. They're yes. doing a great job. I mean, Kata is like one third. I yeah, mean, the, different, the physical difference is quite massive here in, in this game. And uh, we know even uh, uh, teams like uh, the Orcas have problems with Flipper. So it is uh, quite a feature for uh, the Spanish Piranhas to be able to hold Flipper uh, in a 6-0 in the first half. And they do a good job. It's uh, yeah, it's a 6-0 score, but they do a good defending it's job yes, and they keep them great. keeping them let's at bay. See, let's see how they can keep <laughs> in the second half because that's the problem uh, when it starts getting more physical and then they will be dis defending a lot and, and uh, the condition breaks a little bit. Yeah. You know, and also the motivation, also the main. I mean, talking about mental strength and. A mental training. We had a great session yesterday in the academy. Pacho, I mean Jorge Franco, the trainer of the U21 of Colombia, that just won the World Cup in Oberhausen, and told us uh, what uh, uh, methods he uses with the team. They have been training, m mental training, things 2014 and 15 pretty much, and give us some tools and talking about that actually you know this and in, in a lot of uh, situations when we go to the final games where you have teams that are quite equal in strength is actually the mental strength what actually makes a difference so um, yeah and let's see also you know if you are the the weaker team and you've been defending and you have the feeling um, you know bodily I mean if they have such a yeah. Such 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 a um, uh, strong uh, game, the flipper guys. Ah, we have here the. Can we <laughs> can we have the view? Yeah, here we go. Oh, uh, the I love boy the is home. Caps. Yeah, and Matilda made these uh, Cosita. these little caps for the dolphins. And, and now and they Rixu belong just to the arrived. Rixu just arrived and brought it to us. And I really loved uh, the the way Rixu sent us pictures wherever they took uh, the trophy, the Dolphins, the boy, yeah. with them. So right now, I remember one year ago, we were sitting here and uh, Jim Holmberg was coming into the uh, commentator box and giving me an interview. And uh, he was really like, uh, well, saying this, he's happy to, to own this uh, trophy. Quite amazing now with all these little plates of the winners. 
I would nice. like to know from the Rixu why do they have the number four? Does it there's any kind of hidden message? We don't know who is the number four of uh, Rixu. Don't know the story. That's, yeah, let's that's tell us the question. story of the number of the. <laughs> I guess uh, when is Rixu coming up uh, here? It's at, um, at seven o'clock. Seven, seven o'clock against the uh, U.S. Boston Networks. Okay, getting ready for the second half uh, flipper um, from Denmark against uh, Piranha Spinafiel from uh, Spain. Yep. A ver, y ahí estamos de nuevo en la canasta del lado español y, uh, y dándole los chicos con lo que más pueden, tratando de recuperar el balón de los daneses. El número 20 lo acaba de recuperar y viene en un contraataque. Justo llega la defensa, lo pasa el número 28 que está al lado abierto y trata de atacar a la cabeza del portero. Y a ver, esto es una pelea. Bueno, el, a ver, hubo una. Parece que. Eh, retención sin pelota. Entonces, pudieron defender ese ataque. Y ahora tiene un tiro libre los chicos de Piranha. Paul. Free throw against Flipper. Uh, it looked like uh, pushing without ball. Sí. Ah, uh, well, the, the free throw was stopped immediately. The ball didn't even reach. Uh, Player. The Spanish player and now the, the the Spanish goalie has a really hard time and he's a defender and, and the Danish player is already occupying the Spanish yeah. basket and uh, this is something you you don't that have to tour. offer. The tour made a tour. It's, it's funny in German <laughs> because tour made a tour. A <laughs> uh, goal is a tour in German but not with an H uh, after the T. So tour made a tour. tour. Very fast and you don't. Uh, have to give Flipper the opportunity. They are too experienced not to use uh, a chance like this to score in between. And uh, very nice interfered. But here we go. Uh, Spain is trying to come from the open side in the middle of the pool, trying to outswim uh, the Danish four-checker defense right in front of the Danish basket. And here the Spanish players try to get in the defense from the close side but lost the ball up to the surface with the uh, uh, Danish players' uh, ball possession. They need to play a little bit closer. They were too far apart. They passed the ball down, and now we have just the one player, the goalie, trying to keep away the attacker from above. And uh, now they are with the ball underneath the goalie in between the defense, and I'm trying to attack from the close side, but they just lost the ball into the hand of the defender. Recovery, now it's trying to arrive fighting against one of the guys of Piranhas, pass it farther, attack defensor, goalie, and the ball is inside. I mean, that was like a tsunami. Yes, and they go in with so much speed and force. It's uh, it's amazing. Uh, and uh, congratulations to the uh, Spanish team. They withhold uh, the first two or three waves before uh, Flipper succeeded. But really, the, it, the, 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 the physical presence and push and speed they put into these attacks is amazing. I'd like to see them uh, play in uh, in the other games, but they have no more games today. Yeah, Leo, Leo is telling us that Rixu player number four is Samuli Yusila, and but then that is related to the cup number four that the, l the l Dolphins from the um, Champions Cup uh, is wearing. I mean, it's related to that. And another goal for uh, Flipper, and this was a fast one, not that much fr uh, resistance. Seems like uh, Flipper is warming up now for the game. We are in the second half. Flipper in blue against uh, Piranhas in white. And uh, it's game number 18. And Flipper is leading a 9-0 against uh, the Spanish team. Let's see. Five minutes to go. 9-0 and it's... I have the feeling that the goals in this second half happened a bit faster. Yes. Um, it, it may be uh, a flipper is uh, in the rhythm and it also may be uh, the, the, the Spanish team is slowly uh, losing its energy to fight off these constant attacks because you need a lot of energy to be, to be constantly defending, constantly concentrating on the ball carrier. Yep. And uh, Flipper is so clever to position the uh, player. They position themselves so good. And, and try this player from above try to interfere into the exchange of the goalkeepers. And he succeeds. Yep. 
Very well played. A lot of cunning there, a lot of experience. So it's a 10 0 for Flipper in blue against uh, Piranhas from uh, Spain in white. And still, uh, oh, it's a timeout for white. So Spain took a timeout. What would what you suggest, Lorena, is the strategy for Spain for the Piranhas at this moment? What they should do? Well, probably what they what they do right now. It's I think they still do a good job, ah. but it's it's like uh, uh, they wear it down. You know, they they get e exhausted, and it's just like you got a, a, a um, it's this pressure. They're constantly it it just wears you out. Yes, definitely, definitely. I mean, it's uh, and they play earlier today against uh, Malmo Triton, so it's the second game today. That's a few teams having two or three games and yeah I mean again it's, it's hard to stay focused when you have so much pressure and the flipper is you know one of the uh, top favorite teams to win this cup this year as well so it's, it's like hitting a wall you know like with your head a few times that's that's a I, that would be that would be my guess of the feeling playing against these guys yeah, it's like a little bit more like uh, playing with bulldozers. Because look, the 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 Spanish uh, players try to stop them, but they just uh, blow on ahead. And here we go, another attack. The goalkeeper uh, all made it in time, and uh, the attacker was stopped by a defender. But it's it's like uh, the there are so many flipper players. It's amazing, very well played, and they just uh, appear massively around the basket. Ah, wow. there was a pass in the open. There was no flipper player. They were all under the basket, and uh, but the the Spanish player couldn't um, swim far with the ball. Was stopped by a flipper player who stripped him of the ball. Now we have an attack from the close side again, but uh, the defense is in in uh, position. Very well defense. Uh, it's a last minute defense. It's really like defending with your teeth, uh, with all everything you have, um, and they do a good job. Uh, but it it looks terribly uh, ex exhausting yes. what Spain is doing here yep. it's it's really like uh, you have to go 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 and in and in between it's like trying to stop a train with a hand somehow yeah. and but, but, well, but, but they are doing a, a very good job I mean again there's Indeed so much do. this is a huge difference Piranhas had, hasn't been playing in the Champions Cup for a while uh, let me check I'm going to take a look at that well for the minute so 11-0 for Flipper so that's Three minutes left here in the second half of the game. Flipper still blue against Pedernias from Sweden in white. A good score, still a very good score. Yep. Let me see. Um, so last year we had Barcelona. The year before Barcelona as well. Uh, we will try to so tell the tech people to update. Last uh, time the they were here in 2015, Pedernias. Schedule. And another attack from the open side and another score. Yeah, really, uh, Flipper goes into the rhythm and uh, Piranha from uh, Spain is uh, worn out. Two minutes and a half left here in the second half of game number 18 in the Champions Cup. 30 in th 13th edition. Two minutes to go. But nevertheless, what, what I, I think is great, you know, Piranhas could left their basket, oh, there was an empty there basket, was no goalkeeper just uh, uh, in uh, front 2 of 21. the basket, a uh, uh, defender, and uh, the flipper player just I think put that o was the, the ball over the head into the basket. So a 12-0, and uh, Piranhas are breaking apart here. And uh, we had one guy that was doing some statistics. What I'm checking here, Flipper is number five in rating, you know, of the currently best male team. So um, if we think in 10 games, they have won eight and, oh no, more than 10 games here. I'm trying to understand the statistics so I can start using it. <laughs> Thank you see. for the explanation, uh, Josie. Yeah, it's Elena. Okay, it's number four. Thank you. 
right, Lina is the number four there, yes. and she was the one doing the cups, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> uh. And we go another uh, attack. Whoa, that was a nice attack, but succeeded. The ball was just a push to the side by the flipper player right in front of the basket into the hands of his teammate, and it came from the close side and scored. So we have a 13 14 uh, 0 now, and it's getting harder and harder for Pieranias to withstand these yeah. constant attacks. Well, it's 30 seconds, so it's just. A little bit more, and then that's uh, going to be over. And remember, it's coming up as Malmutriton against Fat Uvr. Wow! And then we are under the basket. The number oh, seven that's is a chance trying the, to the attack. The oh, that's nice! The, last chance. the, the Spanish he player was on the open side, yeah. wow, had the back it? of the goalie uh, on his side, but he couldn't get for the real push into the back. Uh, pro probably he feel like trying to move a truck with the hand yeah. again. Yeah, <laughs> to move a bulldozer with a your yeah. pure head and uh, that's it game over second half over and flipper did win 14-0 against the Spanish team Pieranias Penafil well done by flipper and like I said flipper is one of the top teams here and I'm uh, curious how they will do tomorrow when uh, they face teams they are able to be on the same level and the same intensity next game coming up uh, like Lorena, Lorena already said is uh, Malmö Triton from uh, Sweden against uh, FAT underwater rugby uh, from Singapore again uh, FAT means first Asian team underwater rugby and they call themselves FATI so if we call them FATIs it's not disrespectful it's uh, what they call themselves so uh, team list uh, referees for this uh, game coming up are let me see where's my list um, there yep. yeah yeah there it is so uh, uh, chief referee out of the water is uh, Bob Robinson from uh, my from Berlin uh, Birgit Lütke from Germany in the water and Jose from the US um, in the water and the two referees monitoring the game because Jose is doing his uh, license his uh, international license are uh, Manfred and Kai so what to expect here Lorena Malmö Triton uh, they have a nice lineup uh, I, I haven't seen Christopher uh, Suarez so far uh, but uh, let me see the team list. Uh, I'm on my Singapore. The fact is, we have number one Stanley, two Six Young, three Samuel, four Isad, seven Shane, eight Chiaho, nine Marcus, ten Kiat Han, thirteen Joel, seventeen Sean, eighty-eight Kumaran, and then for the Malmo Triton guys, let me find them here in the list and <laughs> we have from Sweden one Karl, two Marcus, three Matthias, four Andreas, five Peter, seven Johan, eight Ulf, ten Edwin, eleven Simon, twelve Anders, thirteen Stefan, fourteen Emmanuel, nineteen Olof. 30 Christopher and uh, 89 Jens. All right, so let's see what time is it. In just a few minutes, the game is planned at 6, and it's three more minutes to go until then. I believe let's see hold on a second all right uh, Malmö did the last year no hold on a second I'm checking here the rankings 
Oh, we didn't have Malmö. It was police in last year. But still, probably uh, the favorite in this game. I mean, against the Fatis. They played before, earlier today. Let me check. Against Flipper. And uh, I believe that's it. Because they are in which group? Remember, we have four groups for the men. We have 15 teams. So we are now in group B. Flipper, Malmo Triton, Piranhas Peña Fiel, and uh, Fat UVR. That's we are defining this group. We have uh, the group A of the men is three ma teams, and group B, C, and D is four male teams. And then we have 12 female teams divided into four groups with uh, three teams each group. And we are in the preliminaries game today, Friday. 23rd of November